आई एम डॉक्टर मौलिक जे पटेल थर्ड इयर रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर रेडियोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट शिव शाह मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल टुडे आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग यू अ केस ऑफ द वीक हिस्ट्री अ 72 टू ईयर ओल्ड मेल पेशेंट विथ हिस्ट्री ऑफ पेडेंकुलेटेड मास ऑन द अपर बैक रीजन ऑन द राइट साइड सिंस टू ईयर्स द लीजन वॉज पेनलेस एंड ग्रेजुअली इंक्रीजिंग इन साइज सिंस टू ईयर्स नो एनी प्रीवियस इन्वेस्टिगेशन वेर डन आई हैव यूज टू मोडालिटीज अल्ट्रासाउंड एंड एम आर आई टू स्टडी दिस केस हियर आर द की इमेजेस ऑफ द केस ऑन क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन द लीजन इज विजिबल एज पेडेंकुलेटेड मास ऑन द बैक रीजन ऑन अल्ट्रासाउंड वी कैन सी अ वेल डिफाइंड सॉलिड हाइपोइकोइक लीजन विच शो मार्क वास्कुलरिटी द स्टॉक ऑफ द लीजन अपियर्स टू बी ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम द डर्मिस लेयर on mri the lesion appears iso intense to muscles in t1 axial and heterogeneously hyper intense with flow voids in t2 axial sequences the lesion appears hyper intense on t2 fat set images and flow voids can be seen on t2 sagittal images findings on ultrasound the lesion is well defined solid and heterogeneously hypoechoic The stalk appears to be originating from dermis. On color Doppler, the lesion shows marked vascularity. On MRI, the lesion is iso intense to muscle on T1 sequence and hyper intense on T2 sequence. It shows flow voids on T2 axial and T2 fat set sequences. No evidence of calcification noted in the lesion. From above findings, my provisional diagnosis is neoplastic lesion of mesenchymal origin. The differential diagnosis could be infected epidermal inclusion cyst and vascular malformation. The histopathology report came as benign spindle cell tumor, benign fibrous histiocytoma. Discussion: Cutaneous spindle cell neoplasm encompasses a heterogeneous group of tumors that range from reactive to benign, borderline, and malignant tumors. Fibrous histiocytoma is one of the most common cutaneous mesenchymal neoplasm. WHO classification according to the cell origin is adipocytic, fibroblastic, fibrohistiocystic, skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, vascular, perivascular, chondroosseous and uncertain differentiation. Fibrous histiocytoma is common benign dermal mesenchymal tumor. It can develop at any age. It is slow growing, pigmented and painless in nature. Most are solitary but may present in multiple forms. it typically occurs on the extremities and trunk causes which may stimulate the tissues to divide more rapidly than normal are genetic predisposition chromosomal mutations cellular genetic defects in oncogen and tumor suppression genes example nf1 in neurofibromatosis exposure to radiation or certain chemicals trauma and inflammation the role of imaging in soft tissue tumors Soft tissue neoplasms are encountered often in daily radiologic practice. Vast differentials of benign and malignant soft tissue neoplasm make it difficult for radiologists to diagnose accurately. Most tumors are accurately diagnosed by the component of cells of origin on histopathology. Certain benign tumors like lipomas and gangliomas can be identified on ultrasound and MRI, so unnecessary biopsy can be avoided. Imaging modalities can give information about depth of the lesion, vascularity status and possible extension of the lesion in adjacent soft tissues. Lesion characteristics like margins, vascularity, calcification can be identified by imaging modalities and it can be helpful to narrow down the diagnosis. Take home message. The vast array of benign and malignant entities can make diagnosis difficult for radiologists. but the with the help of usg and mri as an imaging modalities the lesion characteristics can be identified and the radiologist can make short and appropriate differential diagnosis unnecessary biopsies can be avoided with the help of imaging modalities i would like to thank dr harshad sah sir dr nirmala chudasma ma'am and dr rs vyas sir for their guidance and support thank you